Marshall was well aware that he was being spied on and he tolerated the surveillance in exchange for the ability to be able to insulate the NAACP. Marshall and the FBI were increasingly concerned that communists were infiltrating the NAACP and Walter White supported Marshall, but White was very sensitive to the possibility of political fallout from a battle with J. Edgar Hoover. White continued to court the bureau's leader because he knew the NAACP could not afford to get on Hoover's hit list and he and Marshall wondered if cooperating with the Federal Bureau of Investigation would protect the NAACP from accusations of communism. Marshall and other civil rights leaders knew that being associated with communism at the height of the Red Scare would diminish the organization's credibility and damage reputation. And in a pivotal 1950 NAACP convention in Boston, they had a far-reason resolution that called for a systematic purge of communism.